The aim of this video is to show how to use laser for URSL in a patient with solitary kidney. The patient is a 60 year male who is a recurrent stone former with left solitary functioning kidney. This is the CTKB showing a 8 mm stone in the left distal ureter. Ureteroscopy is done using 6 by 7.5 French ureteroscope. Since the stone is located in an abnormal position, it is gently migrated to the proximal dilated part of the ureter and the scope is negotiated as proximal as possible with the help of a guide wire. This enables dilatation of the distal ureter and also once reaching the kidney, the outflow is open so that the pressure gets relieved. So with the guide wire in situ, ureter is re-entered and with the stone in the proximal dilated part of the ureter, laser lithotripsy is done. 5 Hz and 1.2 joules, that is low frequency and high energy settings are used and the laser is started from the center of the stone. Avoid reaching the periphery of the stone to avoid touching the mucosa inadvertently. The aim is to make fragments and not powder. Once a fragment small enough to be retrieved through the ureter is done, it is retrieved gently by rotating using a triprong forceps and left inside the bladder. Now to re-enter the ureteric orifice, the scope is rotated anti-clockwise for the left ureter and clockwise for the right ureter for atraumatic entry into the orifice. So the remaining fragment is again made smaller using laser lithotripsy and this kind of rotating movement is done and the floor of the ureter is grazed while the fragment is being retrieved. So again the same principle is followed to gently re-enter the ureter and the pieces are retrieved. So once it is done, stent is inserted, we use a 3.5 French stent in general. So these fragments from the bladder are retrieved using a cystoscope sheath. So these are some of the safe tips and tricks to be followed in a case of solitary kidney for ureteroscopic laser lithotripsy. Thank you.